Hi, Cindy Jo from Abnormal Arts. Do you have gloopy, goppy, gesso like I do? Or gesso? This is expensive, and the original container it came in had a slight slit in it, so it started, you know, turning into this gloopy, goppy mess. And I have a solution that has actually fixed this for me. <clears throat> you will need this. This is a hand mixer. Hand blender has two it has a little blade in there. And I keep this in my craft room at all times. When you're done using it, you just dunk it in water and turn it on and that cleans it. So I'm gonna show you how I reconstitute my gloopy gossy goppy gesso. I hope it helps you. Put some gloop in there. A little water. Do it to your, to your satisfaction, to the thickness that you like. This is going to make noise, sorry. It really does a really good job because I have tried taking my gloopy goppy mess and just mixing it with a fork, you know, with water, and it did not work. So I was actually taking my brush, my paintbrush, and just slathering this goop on my canvas. So I decided to do something about it. This is just a, just a shampoo bottle. I've already taken care of half this jar already. Just poured it in a shampoo bottle. That's all I do. Clean out a shampoo bottle and pour my gesso or gesso in there. And there you have it. And then you don't have that, um, the goop at the top either because this one has one of those nifty little flip up tops so you don't get all that paint on the top from a lid that goes like that. Anyways, I hope that this helped you. Have a nice day. Bye.